hello everyone so today we are going to implement this color wheel material in unreal engine 5 so this is not a texture this is a material that we are, have implemented here it's not exactly a complex one so i'm going to implement a color picker widget for the skateboard customization system so that's why i first need to create this color wheel material so let's see how to do this today okay so first i'll create a new material m color wheel right now i'll change the material domain to user interface so here uh, if I just promote this to a parameter and make it white this is how it looks but this is not not a color wheel so what I will do is let's try something like this uh, I'll get texture coordinate text code yeah if i directly connect it you can see here uh, this will now consider x and y coordinates as rng and r is changing from 0 to 1 from here to here g is changing from 0 to 1 from top to bottom that's why you see this but we need we have three components r g p so we need a way to somehow represent three values in 2d space so here there is a node uh, that called vector to radial value so what i'm going to do is from the center i'm going to find uh, for each point i'm going to find the angle so here if i subtract the midpoint that should be 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 x and y so constant to vector 0 0.5 0 0.5 now if i just connect it so you can see here it's zero when it's dark that means it's zero so now if i connect these as the vector input and vector converted to angle if i connect this to final color now you see it's changing from zero to one in this way so we can use this property to define to create uh, some kind of a color wheel right so now we have an angle if i put this into a sign and connect this is how it looks okay now if i add uh so the angle is changing from 0 to 1 because radiance I think uh, uh, I'm not sure it's not angle it's changing from 0 to 1 so 1 divided by 3 means 0.333 so if I add 0.33333 and put that into a sign you should see an offset of this color pattern see it's like this so this uh, here I, what i'm going to do is here build in rgb points now another add instead of 333 i'll add 6666 and put it into a sign 
now we will see offset like this okay now here if I make floor 3 and connect these values like this now we have a nice variation of colors around this uh, square not exactly a wheel we will come to that point later but we have a nice color combination here so usually in a color wheel center becomes white and also i think these edges are too sharp so to deal with sharpness i think if i add a power here i should add it i'm not sure see now we let's see if i make it one we have sharp edges two it somewhat blurs three five oh that becomes odd so i think two is better yeah two is better okay now the center should be white so that means uh, it becomes white means uh, what is it called in colors the value see it's white uh, it's, yeah it's value or oh, no it's saturation okay saturation increases at as in the center so for that here we have the subtraction so we can um, get the vector length of this difference and then from this is actually a vector too From V2, we can multiply this by 2 because this will be, I think, 0.5. The vector length would be 0.5 in a place like this. So we need something in between 0 and 1. So multiply by 2. And also, in these corners, it may go more than 2. So more than 1. So I'll clamp this in between 0 and 1 and then we can learn these two values using this as the alpha. 1 means white. Mm, it has to be inverted. So 1 minus. And it's too much white. So let's add a power yeah so five mm, that seems fine so if i need to have a wheel i'll make it masked and then here we can have an if so a is this b is 1 if a is larger than b let me add a constant this may have to change i just need to add some add some values we may have to interchange this another constant zero yeah as i said we have to interchange it Mm -hmm. yeah here is our color wheel so the reason i worked on this is i'm planning to use this uh, to implement a widget that i will be using to pick the colors for the uh, skateboard customization tutorial
Thanks for watching. As always, sub project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.